Hey, and welcome to Ahrefs monthly product updates. We have many updates to introduce this month, again, 19 to be more exact. Let's start with Brand Radar. Big month here. First, we've expanded our AI search coverage with two major indexes. The Microsoft Copilot Index is now live with 12 million queries for July. Plus, we've rolled out a new Gemini Index so you can track links from Google's AI overviews and AI mode side by side. Both indexes are available as separate add-ons. On top of that, we've massively upgraded the ChatGPT and Perplexity indexes for July with a dataset that is 10 times bigger. We're now pulling in long-tail questions from people also ask and switch to the new data providers to improve quality. The result? Much broader coverage and nearly every ChatGPT result now include citations. This makes BrandRadar the AI search tool with the largest LLM visibility dataset running on five massive prompt indexes ranging from 10 to 100 million prompts instead of a few hundreds. Lastly, some pricing updates. Individual AI indexes now cost $199 a month. But if you already subscribed, you'll keep your current price for at least a year. And if you're tracking across platforms, there's a new All Platforms add-on for $699 a month. That includes AI overviews, ChatGPT, Perplexity, Microsoft Copilot, and Gemini, with more to come. Moving on, AI Content Helper now helps you become the go-to source on your topic to get featured by AI assistants. It does so by showing you how your content matches actual subtopics. Just toggle this highlight option on to color code individual sentences based on the subtopics covered, so you know which areas need work to boost your AI visibility. Also, you can now attach sample articles when creating a brand kit to generate more precise writing rules. This trains the AI to match your exact tone, voice and style consistently across all your drafts. Moving on to Site Explorer. We've added a new AI citation section right at the top of Site Explorer Overview. So you can now see how often AI tools like Google AI Overviews, ChatGPT and Perplexity are linking back to your site. Now, these are just mentions. They're actual clickable links in AI-generated answers. You'll see how many AI queries included a link to your site and how many unique pages from your site were linked. If you're tracking how AI tools surface your site, this is where to start. Data is powered by Brand Radar and available on all plans. Next, there's a new chart showing the top entities linked to your target. Things like organizations, products, people, events, and locations. This data comes straight from the SERPs of your organic keywords. Scroll down and the table lets you explore the top 200 entities by type. To compare specific entities, just add them to the chart. Next up, the Top Pages report now shows an AI content level column, so you can instantly spot which top pages of a website are AI generated versus human written. The column shows a percentage score with color bars for fast scanning. Click on any score to jump straight into the full AI detector report. Use this to get a clearer picture of how competitors use AI at scale. See high ranking content that's heavily AI generated? That's proof it works. Now go and test your own AI content with more confidence. Moving on to Report Builder, where our first brand radar widget is live. A history chart showing how often your brand is mentioned in Google AI overviews. It's available in all tabs, Project, Portfolio, and Target. Next, all Rent Tracker widgets now support tag filters, making your reports sharper and more focused. You can filter keywords by tag, but also position, SERP features, and URL. Moving on to Web Analytics. Ever wonder if your site content got stolen? Now you can go to Pages, Clone Pages to see where your content appears on external domains. This could happen when someone iframes or copies your page, or when it shows up through services like Google Translate. It's still your content, just not on your site. We've also added these filters for Clone Pages and Host Domain, so you can dig in fast. Next, export is now available. Export data from any individual report in Web Analytics. Super useful if you need to share findings or save snapshots. Moving on to GSC reports. Now you can save your top filters as presets, so you won't need to rebuild them from scratch every time. Presets are stored per user. 
use them across keywords, pages, and the GSC overview reports. Presets are also shared across reports, so if a preset includes filters not supported in any report, we'll skip them and apply only the relevant ones. And one more small tweak. In the GSC project menu, projects links to GSC are now grouped at the top. If you switch between projects a lot, this makes it much faster to spot and select the right ones. Moving on to Site Audit. If you have an always-on audit running, you can now recrawl any page in it instantly with one click. This is perfect for checking fixes or testing changes fast. And you can also say goodbye to alerts overloads forever since you can now choose exactly what to get notified about during always-on audits. Want alerts only for indexability issues? Toggle only those on. Want to know the moment a product page goes out of stock? Create a custom issue from Page Explorer, then turn it on in alerts. Moving on to Rank Tracker. First update, target URLs. Now you can set a target URL for each keyword. Rank Tracker will track its position and warn you if it gets outranked. This will help you spot potential cannibalization issues, that is, situations where pages swap in ranking within the same domain. Next, we've added advanced SERP feature filters. You can now use AND logic to combine SERP features. For example, find keywords that show both AI overviews and feature snippets. Previously, we only supported the OR logic. You can also compare current versus previous SERPs. This comes handy if you're tracking things like AI overviews replacing featured snippets, which can knock sites out of the spots. This new filter system is also now live in Site Explorer, Rank Tracker Keyword Widgets in Report Builder, and Competitive Analysis. Moving on to our API updates. The Site Audit API now includes a new page content endpoint that gives you complete access to any crawled page, raw HTML, rendered HTML, or clean text. Pull the latest version or grab historical snapshots by date. Available for verified projects only, at 50 units per request. This is perfect for automated content audits or using LLMs for large-scale analysis. I'll leave a link to our API documentation below. And if this video wasn't long enough, here's some quick updates. Pause this video to read them at your own discretion. And we're done for today. If you have any feature requests, you can leave them on our canny. See you in the next update and have a great day.